It has been a decade since the last time the West Tigers played finals football and since then they have gone through so many coaches including Ivan Cleary when he went through from 2017 through to 2019 till he joined the Penrith Panthers so he could be coaching his son Nathan who has since become the best halfback in the competition but there were reports back then that Nathan could be the one on the move and he could be the one heading to the West Tigers. So in today's video, we're going to be seeing if Nathan Cleary is the person to bring the West Tigers back to finals football. We're going to put him in Rugby League Life 4, see how far he can carry this team. We'll also see how the Panthers can do without him. Because many people say Penrith have no chance of winning the competition without Nathan Cleary. We saw Manly struggle without Turbo and Turbo take the Bulldogs to a premiership. But guys, settle in. Let's get straight into this. Let's see how far Nathan can carry the West Tigers. And make sure you guys like the video and subscribe. You can always change your mind later. And let's get straight into round one. And in round one, the West Tigers have to go up against the South City Rabbitohs who, with the 2021 rosters, are the best team in the game. Penrith got the luxury of taking on the Dragons in round one, but the Tigers do get a 10-point victory and the Dragons actually smash Penrith. That is a shock. And in round two, it looks like we're not going to have to wait long. It's Tigers versus Panthers. At Campbelltown Stadium. We'll see when these two teams play next. And I think it is after the origin period. But we'll just make sure. So round 22 is the next time these two teams will play. If we have to watch a game, I'd like it to be between the Panthers and the Tigers. So we'll save that till then. Unless they come across each other in the finals. But in this round, the Panthers get... Revenge on Nathan Cleary for leaving. Well, Ivan beats Nathan. The roles are reversed. We can say Ivan went with Nathan back to the Tigers, but we don't know. Not a very good game for Nathan. Didn't even take on the kicking role, but the Panthers and Tigers are both 1-0 after round two. We'll simulate past the first third of the season. So after 10 rounds, it is the West Tigers sitting outside the eight. With a 4-5 and five record, the Panthers are with the Cowboys, Manly, and Newcastle inside the top four. The Rabbitohs and Eels are having real shocking seasons so far. But as we enter the origin period, it's going to be interesting to see how the Tigers go in round 11. They're going to be taking on the Brisbane Broncos, and they narrowly get a two-point win. Tyson Gamble gets man of the match. And in round 12, it looks like the Tigers have their first bye. So we'll take the easy two points there. And we'll simulate past the origin period. The Tigers are only one win outside the top eight. So we've simulated through round 20. We just picked up a 14-point win over the Parramatta Eels. And look where we are. The Tigers have gone on a run. We sit inside the top four. Penrith are actually just one point behind us because it looks like we have had a draw this season. We are 10 and 1 and 7. Panthers are 10 and 8. Manly and Roosters look to be in a battle for the minor premiership, and we'll see if we can wrap up a top four spot in round 21. We beat the Bulldogs in round 22. This is the battle. It is us v Penrith, top four on the line. I think we are going to watch this one, even if they come across each other in finals. But here we go, folks. We're going to be watching this one between the Tigers and the Panthers. We'll see who comes out on top. And you know what? We'll rep the Indigenous. No, they're too similar. We'll let Panthers rock the cheeky strawberry milk jerseys for this one. I'm going to turn the difficulty down just because we didn't get any tries last time. But we'll see who comes out on top. So Byrne receives the kickoff, and they aren't the best conditions here, but a lot of former players on either sides, Dane Laurie and Jason Tarmow, Momorowski, but I'm not sure if he's in the team. But straight away, Toto goes down the left side. Laurie, though, he has good in-cover defense, along with Nofaluma. Penrith looked dangerous early, though. Appy goes out wide. It'll be Fisher Harris to try and take the ball. They're only 40 meters out off this first set. They have a play to the right, Burton. He's going to just tuck it under to Yo. 
Trying to play. They got themselves in the middle of the field here. Luai calling for it on the right-hand side. They'll go to him. And he'll just try and take the line on. Probably not the smartest fourth tackle player, but they're only 20 metres out here, the Panthers. And it'll go down to Brent Nain. And he goes out to Burton. He's going to put the bomb up. It ain't the best kick. Joe, they look... No! Toe keeps it, but he gets tackled immediately by Nathan Cleary. And Glana, straight away. There's no point in me having a break because Garner goes straight through and he's up to the halfway line. So much better putting the difficulty lower, actually getting some line breaks. Cleary's first touch. He goes wide to Dewey. Dewey can't beat a tackle and said he runs into his opposition half in Jerome Luai. But Nathan is right there. He might want the footy. They're in attacking field position. He goes to Laurie. Laurie gets around Apicaro South. He's going to try and burn Edwards down the right-hand side. He really should have just gone up the middle and tried to give it out right there. But they're going to go out wide here. They little gives it up to Nofaluma. Nofaluma pushes into the corner. But I think that's Stephen Crichton who makes a pretty good tackle there off of Ngawi. Takes the line. Gets it to Garner. We could see a try here. No, that's brilliant defense. But it's not held up. They've got to put pressure on Cleary unless Little decides to go himself. Last tackle, Little does try to go himself and kick out and Appy, the blonde haired brothers, say, mate, you're going nowhere. Oh, an interception. Luke Garner takes the ball. A quarter of the game gone. Cleary is there screaming for it. He's going to go to his house partner. And again, Dewey doesn't know what to do with it and he gets swamped. But I think that's capable. They go down the blind side though. Off and Gary goes out the back to Embi. Embi beats one. Edwards tries. He's pushing no Embo. Only a few meters out. Dewey. Got to get the ball to Cleary, you think. Instead, he's just going to take the line on. Barge over. It has taken through this and the Turbo Doggies video to finally see a rugby league try. He steamrolled the Oda. Ivan's not going to be happy about that one. As Nathan Cleary will add the extras. His stats have changed so much since this game came out. Hurry up, True Blue, please. We need a new game. And Nathan Cleary, we are just over a quarter of the way through this. We'll add the extras. Tigers, a 6-0 lead. Top four implications at stake. And you know what? The Tigers look very, very deadly early. Besides, a very not good Attacking set Bon Penrith in the first half. Oh, the Ferrari! No way! J Charlie Staines, sorry. He's got Burton there, but he's made a break off the kickoff. Dane Laurie misses him completely. And I didn't even bother talking, but Charlie Staines will tell me to shut my mouth because I did not back him here, and he's just run the length of the field off an Adam Dewey kick to screw under the post. Dane Laurie, what are you doing? That man needs a map because he does not know what he is meant to be doing out here on this rugby league field today. And in front of a sold out crowd here in Penrith, we're going to be all leveled up. And Matt Burton off to the doggies, converts at six all. One more set for Penrith before half time. They could snag the lead here. Cleary. He's got to get more involved. He's letting Dewey. I know Dewey scored, but Dewey's been doing everything so far. Cleary got to get more involved in this one. They've had a good set here. Penrith, 50 metres out, 40 metres out. Burn kicks it into his teammate. That is shocking. Why on earth would you do that? Penrith's going to get one more attacking play here before half time. But knowing this game, I bet you we're just going to see a hit up. I hope. Something happens. It will not even go to clear. It will go to offhand. Gow, what an anticlimactic end to this first half. Both teams looking good. Both teams showing promise. Both teams. Some pretty poor defense, but we are tired, and this is what we love to see. It is essentially zero all as we head into this second half. Top four is at stake for both these teams. Oh my god, massive gap in the middle from the Tigers. Leota just ran about 30, 40 metres. And Penrith on the attack. They are only 20 metres out and still have the majority of this set. Burton will go left. He'll give it short to kick out. Garner and Cleary stand their ground. Say, big fella, 
You ain't going nowhere. As now Burn. That's a pretty shocking ball. Kate well juggled. He was able to hold on to it. That's a great one on one tackle from the former Penrith Panther and Dane Laurie. Appy will go back to Burn. Burn takes the line on absolutely. Well, I don't know what to say. That play sort of just summed up my sentence. Absolutely terrible. As Tamo goes straight through, but it's a good one on one tackle from Edwards. Wow. Both middles shocking in defense. And Nathan finally gets his hands on the ball, but it's a pretty boring tip on. Oh, Laurie. Laurie makes a break. Burn. Good cover defense, though. And it ends up being a dominant tackle. We'll see if Nathan finally wants to get his hands on the football 30 meters out. And that is a pretty poor kick from Nathan. And Charlie Staines. Oh, my God. If he got around, I think... Who's that center? I don't even know. Oh, it's Embi. If you get around Embi there... Oh, Leota! Oh, no, I can't even keep up with this. Leota's had a beast game so far, though. Both middles are really, really poor. Now, Charlie Sands gets around one. Laurie doesn't want to reap it last time. That's exactly what happens, but Tama runs down. His former teammate. And they'll go to the left. More gaps in the middle. Cable takes it. Burton will be screaming for it on this left-hand side. And he's there, but so is Laura. Who's going to get the footy? Burton will. He's going to go short to kick out, but Garner and kick out mean again. Is it too early for field goal? Burns dropping back. Will he go for the field goal? No, he's going to put up the bomb. Leilu is there. Krein's there. Krein ends up with it. Can't get an offload away. And he is wrapped up by who should have been the 2020 Dalian medalist. And now he's taking a hit up, and it's a pretty good one. So Cleary, he ain't providing much attack, but... He's been pretty solid in defense as Luke Brooks gets swarmed. Why is he taking a hit up? But I do respect it as Cleary takes another hit up himself. So I guess the small fellas are giving the big boys a rest. Adam Dewey's back behind the foot. He's going to go for a 40-20 there. He's got this. He's got it. Adam Dewey. In a game where we were hyping up the other three halves, it's this one. Probably no offense to Adam Dewey, but the... Look, he's still the Tigers' best player, but the lesser one out of the four, and he is doing bits. They got the back. Laurie, oh, my God, he got pumped. But they got to go down the blind side. Garner gets it away. Leilua steps, and Leilua scores. That'll be the game, surely. With five minutes to go, Penrith won't be looking like they'll touch the footy again, and Nathan Cleary. Well... He didn't have to do much, Adam Dewey. He set up both. Well, he didn't set up the second try, but he got them in the position to score it. He's had a blinder of a game to Adam Dewey, and that should be all she wrote. Tigers cementing their spot in the top four and could be chasing down the minor premiership. Penrith will stay in the hunt, obviously, but close game. Not a very entertaining game. That's what I'll say. So that was all she wrote. Tigers with a six-point win over the Panthers. I thought that looked a bit dodgy there for a second. Little got married in the match. I would have given it to Adam too. But we push on. We'll go to just before the final round. Penrith uh, in the midst of a four-game losing streak. They currently sit a win outside the top eight with a much worse for and against. Tigers. Actually, if Roosters and Manly both lose, they'll get them on a premiership. So, Roosters lose the Titans. Manly beat the Panthers. Panthers will not make the eight. And Tigers won't get the minor premiership, but they will finish second as we go to finals football. Manly Storm. PTSD if you're a Manly fan. And the result stays the same. A lot closer, but Storm do go through. So do the Raiders. So do the Cowboys. And, wow, Tigers get pumped. Storm and Roosters in the prelims. Manly don't get knocked down straight sets. Neither do the Tigers. Storm, Tigers. Nathan Cleary gets revenge. He's in a grand final. Up against the Sydney Roosters. And once again, the Sydney Roosters spoil Cleary. As they did Turbo, they win the 2021 Telstra Premiership in the Grand Final.
God, the Roosters are the team to beat with these 2021 rosters in Rugby League Life 4. Guys, make sure you do smash that like button. You do subscribe. You can always change your mind later. Let me know what scenario you want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know. Do you think Nathan Cleary could take the Tigers to a premiership or not? In the comments below.